Hi guys, welcome back to Detailing on the Beast. Today we're going to be doing something on the Beast. Uh, I know it's been a while, I'm sorry, there is a lot more content coming on the Ranger, I do promise you, I've just been hung up a little bit on the detailing stuff at the time. Um, there will be obviously more detailing stuff coming, um, but I am going to try and concentrate a little bit on the Ranger for the near future. Um, and today I've got something that I am absolutely over the moon about. Um, before Christmas, probably around about November time actually, um, XO Customs, I'll put their Instagram below in the in the video description go check them out for all your ranger accessories this isn't a sponsored video by the way but we'll get we'll get round in a minute you'll see why i'm saying this um before christmas they put, put a competition up on their instagram to win something um and i think it was christmas eve or the day before christmas eve the guys randomly i'd completely forgotten about it all it was was like share comment put this on you on your story sort of thing and i got a random Instagram message from Exo Customs saying that congratulations Dave you've won this prize I'm like winner get in I am um, so without further ado I have won some dark smoked Exo Customs real lights for the Ranger <laughs> So today's video is all about fitting these lights. It's not about bragging that I want. Oh, okay, maybe it is a little. <laughs> but anyway, 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 anyway. Sorry, Ranger guys. I know it was that was below the belt, below the belt, Dave. Um, it's going to be about fitting these lights and showing you the differences between the standard tail lights, which is what I've got on at the minute, and these dark smoked from Exo Customs. Obviously, these things I think are going to look fantastic on the truck. Um, they come with e-markings on them so they are road legal in the uk i believe this is one of the only few sets that are don't go buying them off ebay because you will not know i don't believe you will know properly if they are the exact thing and they are e-marked um, they've got a fog light built into them so again another added bonus some of these things don't have a fog built into them um, and these come in clear lenses light smoked lenses and dark smoked lenses i went for dark smoked um, and the first thing that I notice about them, which I cannot wait to see, and I don't think you'll be able to see this in here, but we will see them later in the video, are the red lights around the outside of the main pods. And these look like, like certain tubular lights. They haven't got like a typical reflector on them. You'll see this later. Um, but I cannot wait to get these fitted. Let's go and give it a go. So guys, I've already got a video on how to remove the tail lights, so if I'll put a link to that above if you want to refer to that, but it is very, very easy. Two T30 Torx bits that'll come out of there, Torx screws, sorry, using a T30 Torx bit. Um, and then you're going to need also, the only other tool you're going to need is a T15. Now, the, the instructions do refer to using a screwdriver instead, so some... We'll come on to where this is used in a minute. So some of these may be a screw cross head, uh, a Phillips screw head, um, but mine, it is a T15 Torx bit. So I'm just gonna bring you in now and show you what we need to do to replace this unit with this unit. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is refer to these three here. Now these are the T15 Torx that I was talking about in the instructions. It refers to these as a screwdriver head so just be aware you might need a Phillips screwdriver to get these out on certain years. But we're just going to take all three of them out. And then we're going to twist unlock all of these anti-clockwise and take them out. Being careful with the bulbs. Now before we get rid of the old unit, we also need these two retaining here. And these should just pop off by hand if you squeeze the underside. And we don't need that anymore. So next we're going to bring in the new unit. Put in them two plastic retainers. Now these lights are, they look very, very well made. They've even got the metal holders here. So what we're going to do to start is so I'm just going to peel these off. We don't need these. So 
and just reverse fit. So that one in there. Twist clockwise, clockwise to lock this time. Now these, the reverse bulb stays the same, but for these you take this out and you plug in the harness that comes with the unit and you feed the whole lot in and clockwise to lock. Same with the top one, take the bulb out. in the new connector and then we're just going to fit these retaining brackets back onto the unit and secure them with a T15. Now before you put them back in, one thing you need to do is make sure that this loom here, a bit tight, goes behind that container. That'll just stop everything getting caught up. refit the two T30s. And that is it. Job done. Let's get one tested. Okay, so this is the original. Standard bulbs. This is the new one, and you can see them bulbs there, them tube lights absolutely look amazing. So what's the comparison like? Yeah, them are sweet man, them are sweet. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just test out the indicators. Now they're not as prominent in terms of what I can see as in terms of the size of the bulb. In terms, sorry, size of the lens. But I do actually think it looks better wrapped with that. So one thing that's different about this side is that the fog light is on this side. That side was the reverse light. So in here, on the standard unit, it's a red lens with a white bulb. Same as over there, it's a, it's a white lens with a white bulb for reverse. So on the new unit, this side is actually a clear lens. So if we've got fog lights here in the UK, this will need something to be red instead of this clear. So XO have already thought of that, and they ship with a red bulb. So instead of just replacing the bulb, so taking them out of this and putting them into this, we actually need to do a bulb swap as well. On the factory fog. Other than that, just crack on.
So that's it, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the fitting of these. I think you'll agree they look absolutely fantastic. Miles, miles better than the original units. Um, to be honest, if I'd have seen these in person, up close, before, I think I'd have probably bought a set. Um, Instagram pictures just don't do these things justice, they really don't. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased with them. Thank you to the guys at Exo Customs. Um, I'm absolutely chuffed to have won these in a competition. So again, thank you to them guys. Uh, speaking of Instagram, if you want to go and see more of my Ranger, it's one of the most followed Instagram accounts on Instagram for Ford Rangers. It's Ford underscore Ranger underscore Wild Track. I'll put a link to that below in the description and I'll pop it on screen. I've got loads more Ranger content coming soon, so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, it really will help me grow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.